We have bought a Honda Civic. <sighs> so you'd have read the title and thumbnail, and the first thing you'd have done is clicked on the video and thought, for fuck's sake, he's bought another project car. Just hear me out. So yesterday was a bit of a uh, bit of a intense day, shall we call it? This came up for sale, and me and the boys at 9K um, thought we need to buy something that represents the group, represents the brand, that we can all put money into. Um, so this isn't just my car, but it is going to be on my drive, so I'll be making the content on it. But this popped up for sale, and it was one of them things that you just can't say no to. Um, for the price we paid and for what we got with it and for what it is and the potential of it is absolutely unreal Now this car the, the, hear me out the two project cars I've bought before were good little cars But they needed a lot of work a different engine to actually get them on a track and, and be able to have some fun in now This is ready to go. It's already been on track. It's it's already got coilovers. It handles amazing I've already drove it um, I'm gonna show you what it is but this is something, and I've said it twice now with two cars, this is something that, we're already getting it on track on Wednesday, this is something that's staying, this is something that's shared between a few of us that has actually got a lot of potential in it. And you're probably already gonna dislike the video, but once I turn this camera around, you'll understand why. So, the new project car for the channel and for 9K is, we have bought a Honda Civic EJ9. Honda Civic EJ9 and yeah like I said it's already been on track it, it, it's pretty much set up we're running full coilovers on this actually um, aftermarket alloys we've already got bucket seats these are FN2 uh, FN2 type R seats uh, it's already got a harness in it aftermarket wheel um, I put my old gear knob on it's literally got everything aftermarket alloys as well I'm not sure what these even are they look like kind of cheap alloys but it's yeah it's got the it's got the ek9 body kit on it it's got the bumper uh it's got the ek9 spoiler it's literally like such a good little base to start with um it has got civic type r stickers on it so we're, we're going to be taking them off but yeah this is the car guys it's, it's absolutely insane it's really really good it's slow as fuck but look at this man <laughs> Wait until you hear this. The mileage on it, 242,000 miles on this car, but that doesn't matter too much. I'll show you why. So the engine currently in this is a D14, and I think it's got about 90 horsepower, but to be fair, after the after the years that this, is, this car's been on the road and the mileage, it's probably making, what, like 60, 70 horsepower. So this engine is getting taken out in the future maybe even dyno it um and there is there is talks in the works about just buying the cheap ebay turbo kit putting it on and just seeing how, how long the engine lasts but the good thing about this is the b18 engines literally drop straight in so this this that's definitely going to be something in the future that we're going to look at but for now tracks like three sisters and smaller tracks that haven't got as long as straights this this car is brilliant and it's a lot of fun on because of the handling it's not going to go fast in a straight line it barely gets to 100 mile an hour but it's just fun to 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 have around a track we'll go for a drive probably in a bit but today what we need to do first thing we need to do on this is change the oil because literally one there's no oil in it and two when there was it's pretty black so seeing as the engine probably is on its way out we've literally gone for part synthetic i know i know i know but literally we're not we're not too fussed about this engine so we're going to do an engine an engine swap bloody hell already we're going to do an oil change um i'm hoping everything comes off easy sump plug etc old oil filter we've got another oil filter uh, from the previous owner actually which is oh shite which is very handy so is this an import? No, it's not. 
anyway so yeah that, that's going to be today's video obviously you've seen the car we're going to do a quick oil change and uh, maybe even do a coolant change at some point maybe this week or something just so it's kind of ready to uh, to have a bit of abuse but that is the car let's crack on oh where's the oil filter that's what i'm looking for just use that tool hi boys <laughs> where is it i don't know i found the sump plug do you that tool right. All right, so unfortunately it, um, it, it is raining now, but we're going to get this oil change quickly done. Some good news and bad news in a way. That's now not insured um, and that is insured. So we're going to be doing big sends tonight. Big sends. You're right there, lad. Big sends. Big <laughs> um, So yeah, Wednesday or whenever Three Sisters do a track day, this is going on track straight away. Um, this, this is when you know that this project car is serious. When I take the insurance off my EP3 to put on this car, that's when you know I'm serious about a project car now. But yeah, that's good news. Either way, we had to go to Euro Car Parts and get another oil filter because for some reason, this one is like gigantic. I'm not sure what this one's for, but it's not the right one. And we've got some spark plugs as well. Probably not going to do the spark plugs today. Do you reckon we have time to do spark plugs today? Easy. Yeah. yeah okay we're doing the spark plugs today so it's gonna have spark plugs and oil change and um yeah we'll do the coolant later this week but we're gonna crack on unfortunately it's raining but we're fully insured <laughs> can you not get some plug off That's right so yon monier puts the uh puts the oil panel thing under the car and says it goes like this it goes it doesn't fit it doesn't, it doesn't fit. It goes flat, dickhead. <laughs> right, so, so far, James has lost the sump plug in the drainer. How he's done that is beyond me. He's, he's smashed a glass somehow. Um, I'm absolutely caked in it, so it's gone really well. And now he's, what are you doing, James? This is part synthetic oil. <laughs> Budget build. Right, moment of truth, turn it on. Crank it up, see if she turns on. Bear in mind, 241,000 miles, so if a rod does go... Yeah, it's fucked. <laughs> Let it run for a bit, and then check the oil again. Right, and as promised, spark plug tires. I did not know, Lidl actually... Uh, yeah, they've got 16 mil spark plug socket now, yeah. it's really good. Supply a spark Stop plug so there. socket, yeah, I'm dead to be fair. Has the spark plug come out yet? Yeah, they're not... What are they like? <laughs> that one's not too bad. That's not too bad, to be fair. Oh, I've seen worse. I thought it'd have been. I thought it'd be really rough, to be yeah, fair. What ones at Denso Arts? Right, spark plugs are in. Crank it up. Give it. Don't give it any gas. Just see if it starts. Right. So it won't start without fuel. That's what. Uh, won't start without fuel then. Idle controls. Idle controls. Focus. It doesn't start without fuel. Smoky, then again, there's no fuel in no it fuel whatsoever. Fuel. But that the engine sounds a lot better now. It's not ticking, it's not knocking. So that's a good start, I think. That's a good start. I didn't even realise today's Tuesday. I thought it was Monday, so it would be tomorrow that we're going on track with the car. Uh, I'm pretty sure three sisters do the track days on Wednesdays, but yeah, so it's tomorrow. We're gonna we're gonna take it on and have some fun. Like I said, it's not gonna be nothing spectacular. It's like a 90 horse powered engine, but. It'll be fun, that's the main thing. It'll be fun. And it does corner pretty well, so yeah. Oil change and spark plugs. Um, tomorrow I'll probably, I might before we go on track do a coolant change, just so temperatures keep nice. Um, drain the coolant, put more coolant in it. And uh, then later this week, strip the rear, take all the plastics out, uh, paint that all satin black and make it look kind of pretty. Um, then we've got wiper deletes to do and pretty much what we've what I've done I'm gonna this is gonna be off the road for a, a week or two while we start on this because what I'm gonna do now that can go around the corner and it's it's set up properly um, while I'm saving up for map I'm just gonna start doing little bits to the uh, to the EJ9 just so because bits on that are a lot cheaper than that so while I'm saving, I can be doing bits and making content on this. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy the content on this as well because it's something a little bit different. And I'm pretty sure there's not many on YouTube. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting started with this. I'm really glad it's insured as well. Thank you to Brain Taker for sorting that out for me. It didn't cost me a penny. So I've had this little kit for ages and it's just a little like bumper holding kit. And uh, obviously just realised there's already one on this car. 
and it's looking a bit dated and we're just swapping it out i've already done the other side and it looks pretty decent to be fair so we're just swapping them over we're putting the back box that originally came on my ep3 on this so it's gone through a bit of a transformation today but yeah i'm just going to quickly do this then we're going to take it for a spin but yeah we've got the proper rubbers as well for these um because this is currently cable tied because obviously it's a honda you ready? Oh, God. Oh, sounds quite nice. Oi. Go on, rev it a bit. That sounds nice. Oh, Give it more. I've heard worse the sound in it. That's not that loud, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so far so good. So, yeah, got quite a lot done today. Spark plugs, oil change, oil filter. Um, we took the back seats out really quick because uh, they're just not needed. We're never gonna use them. So I've hoovered this, give it a little quick clean. Tomorrow I'm gonna jump out and fully take all the plastics out and literally just try and restore all this back bit. And then we've got some matte black spray to, to spray it all black and make it look a little bit, little bit more snazzy. But like I said, we're all gonna be saving up for a B18. Uh, me, James, Adam, all the boys at 9K. And uh, there will be a B18 going in this at some point. Uh, but like I said, for now, the handling's okay. I'll probably go get it aligned at some point. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take it for a spin in a minute, to show you what it sounds like. And uh, yeah, it's been a good day, it's been a good day. That's so funny. Now there's not a back box, you can actually hear the tiny bit of VTEC kick in. Listen to this. <laughs> what a little beast. <laughs> Such a cool little car. Oh shit, the bonnet's open. Oh, what a sick little car, man. I'm really excited to get on the driveway again tomorrow and, uh, and work on this, really excited. You are very naughty. We're already getting complaints from the neighbors. Naughty, naughty TJ the EJ. And that's gonna do it for this video. As you can tell, I'm pretty buzzing with this car. It was very unexpected. Uh, I wasn't gonna bother with a project car until I could properly afford one because I don't wanna mess you guys around, to be fair. Obviously, I had the Corsa and the logo, but they were a lot of work to actually, and a lot of money while I was trying to build the EP3. This is like a good base to go on. You can already do some bits to it and already actually drive it on track, so. Uh, I'm not going for high speed in it when we do go on track at some point. It's just gonna be a fun car to just mess around with, so. Yeah, we've got a few bits done today. I think I'm going to jump out tomorrow and have a look at getting... I think James is talking to an, EP, uh, an EJ9 breaker. Uh, we need a new rad uh, because the one in this at the minute is absolutely... It's gone. How it even holds any liquid, I don't know. But uh, probably jump out and try and take the wiper off. Now, obviously, a 21-year-old car, it's definitely going to be seized. But that needs to come off just so it makes the back look a little bit more flush. But yeah, it was... Uh, it's been a good day. I'm going to get out tomorrow as well and give it a good wash and uh, a quick little detail just to freshen it up a little bit, try and bring it back to life. But apart from that, this is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy and if you are excited for the future things of, uh, of the EJ9, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.